Welcome to Mets Baseball Recap for July 1st, 2021. And the Mets fall to the Atlanta Braves 4-3 after the Mets made a comeback to come back. Um, we have a lot to talk about. So DeGrom pitched seven innings, gave up five hits, three runs, all of them earned, and had 14 strikeouts. At one point in the game, he had eight strikeouts in a row, I believe it was, or seven strikeouts in a row. It was eight or seven. I forgot how many it was. Definitely was very upset after giving up three runs in the first inning. He gave up uh, a home run as well. Um, no, it, 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 it was a bad day for the Mets pitching in, in that sense, but great day for DeGrom. Uh, DeGrom's ERA did raise up, go up to .95, so it is what it is. Um, you know, we all knew it wasn't going to be the .5 or .67 or .7. It was eventually going to go up, and at 20 place it could go up. I mean, he has a under one ERA. It's insane. But the Mets offense was once again dead. Um, the Mets barely had any hits. Conforto went one for four. Alonzo went 0 for four. Uh, Smith went two for two with two home runs. He had two RBIs for both solo shots. Pilar went 0 for four. McCann went two for three. Um, Guillaume went 0 for 4. DeGrom went 0 for 2. And I believe Lindor went 0 for 2 with two walks. Mets offense is just, it's bad. It is bad. The Mets started early too. The Mets started with a run in the first inning. And then DeGrom gave us the three runs. And then they fought back. Smith got up them back with a home run. And then tied the game in the ninth. 3-3. And unfortunately, Seth Lugo could not hold the game for the Mets. The Mets lose this game. And there was a play that maybe, maybe uh, whoever caught that last ground ball could have gone to third, but ended up throwing the ball and just not enough time. Uh, Freddie Freeman beat the play out at first, but the bases loaded and the Braves won. The Mets, though, were, were helped by the Dodgers. The Dodgers beat the Washington Nationals, the red hot Washington Nationals. Um, yeah, well, don't mind me. I'm tired. It's almost one o'clock in the morning. Um, the Yankees will take on the Mets tomorrow. Yankees psh, is terrible. This is this is a terrible recap. Um, I have no words. The Mets offense has been dead and it's continued to be dead. Um, some days some players hit, some days the other players don't hit. I don't know. I don't. I don't have a good answer. I think at this point the Mets lineup needs to just be put in a a bag and just randomly put out because at this point you don't know who's hitting. No one's hot. No one's cold. They just pick random days to just hit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a good answer. As far as the Mets in the ninth inning, no. Things happen, and unfortunately Seth Lugo just didn't have it. And like I said, they probably could have got out of it. it the ground ball hit the third base. They had a shift. The guy could have gotten third, maybe. You know, just it's a it was a tough play. You know, and I, I I can't fault whoever caught that that ground ball. But either way, Mets lose. And the Mets are two games ahead in the first place division for the East. But if they continue to play, they are they're gonna lose it. And I've been saying it for a very long time, but I'm not going to say it today. But it is what it is. Good night, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll actually be at the game tomorrow. So let's go Mets.